the water cycle is depicted here, from precipitation to evaporation, using this method. Precipitation is the first step in the water cycle, which begins with snow or rain falling from the sky and generating a cascade. Evaporation occurs when water evaporates due to the sun's heat. This causes a complete restart of the water cycle. The water cycle progresses through several stages. In 2006, Gold Coast City's age structure was compared to that of Australia as a whole. In comparison to Australia's 24%, Gold Coast City's greatest age group was 35-49%. to 49%. Gold Coast City and Australia had a combined 2% of those aged 85 and older. Gold Coast City and Australia as a whole have almost the same population distribution across all age categories. The graphic depicts trout size as a function of their age. The average length of a one-year-old fish is 30 centimeters. The average length of a fish at three years of age is 32 centimeters. The average length of an eight-year-old fish is about 49 centimeters. Fish that are beyond 15 years old have a length of 60 centimeters. Fish get larger as they become older, which isn't a surprise. A lovely coloured bar graph depicts the main sources of funding for higher education in Scotland. Different colours are used to signify different types of information, such as yellow for services. Overseas fees are represented by maroon, and financial council grants are represented by dark blue. 
the donations are shown in a million pounds in monetary terms, and the data covers the years 1994 to 2002. As can be seen from the graph, there is no difference between research and financing council awards in the years 1994 to 1998, which range between 500 and 750 million pounds, but the gap widens in 2001 and 2002, reaching 1,000 million pounds. Finally, throughout the years listed, services, abroad fees, and endowments make up a small fraction of the assets. A simple but multicolor bar graph gives an interesting piece of information on how the college fees are paid by students or pupils. Precisely, the graph shows that grants and scholarships are the main sources to pay the money as it contributes 31% followed by parents' income and savings that is 30%. Student loans and students' income and savings are recorded with 15% and 12% respectively. The smallest amount comes from relatives and friends. Overall, it can be concluded that there is more than one source when it comes to paying for college. The percentages in this pie chart show the key market segments in 2013. This is a $57.3 billion market in totality. Single-family houses accounted for 28.9% of the market. Healthcare and educational facilities rounded up the top three, accounting for 13.3% and 12.6% of the total. In terms of market share, apartment complexes and retail had the lowest percentages. Retail had the lowest percentage of the market, while single-family dwellings had the most.
the graph depicts your total level of job satisfaction. According to the graph, the majority of respondents fall into the categories of somewhat satisfied and extremely satisfied with a total of about 50%. As can be seen from this graph, 6% of respondents are slightly unhappy and forward slash or indifferent, which is the second largest group. The graph shows that just 2% of people are extremely unhappy, which is clearly the lowest possible amount. Look closely at extremely satisfied and you will notice the color green. As a result, this graph reveals how satisfied you are with your employment. The graph below shows the relationship between moon and fish. The fish are at the bottom of the water, as we can see for the first quarter moon. Fish begin to swim higher and are found in the center of the sea as they progress to the next stage. Then, when the full moon arrives, the fish are dispersed across the water. Finally, during the last quarter moon, the fish are found near the sea's surface. Finally, the image demonstrates that the moon and fish are closely connected. From 1980 to 2010, the percentage of males in senior development positions at three firms is shown by a bar graph. While there were 15% more males in senior positions at Apple than at the other two businesses in 1980, the trajectory was irregular, with a 2% dip to 13% in 1985, followed by a 1% gain five years later. Men held 7% more senior development posts in 1995 than they did in 1990. After a minor decline to 19% in 2000, males accounted for 25% of top positions in 2010. Men, on the other hand, did substantially better at IBM. Men held 2% of senior positions in 1980, with no change over the next five years. By 1990, the number had risen to 13%, and by 1995, it had doubled to 26%. Except for the year 2010, Microsoft's condition was less spectacular than the other two companies. By 2010, men dominated top positions at IBM, according to the statistics.
the city of Delhi continues to be concerned about rising pollution levels. According to a Beijing pollution source, RK Purim had 985 micrograms per cubic meter of particle matter in the air at 9.20 p.m. during Diwali. At 3 a.m. and 2 a.m., respectively, An and Vihar and Punjabi Ba recorded 758 and 853 microgram forward slash M3 of particle matter. When compared to other filthy cities throughout the world, Xinyang, 1157, and Beijing are not far behind, 722. Singapore, 471, on the other hand, falls considerably behind in this respect. The pie chart depicts the different type of transportation used by people in Birmingham City. People of Birmingham use public transport more as compared to their vehicles. 38.9% of people use buses for daily commuting and 30.5% of people travel by train. Only 11.5% of people travels in their cars. 19.1% of people travels by taxi in Birmingham City. Overall, buses are the preferred mode of transportation in Birmingham. The two diagrams show how electricity can be generated from the rise and fall of water caused by sea waves. The process involves a structure which is mounted on the side of a cliff or a sea wall. This structure consists of a large chamber. One end is open to the sea, and the other leads into a vertical column, which is open to the atmosphere. The first diagram indicates that when a wave approaches the device, water is forced into the chamber, applying pressure on the air within the column. The second diagram illustrates the next part of the process when wave retreats. As a result, electricity continues to be generated. The turbine rotates only in one direction, regardless of the direction of the airflow.
There are seven steps of supply chain management depicted in the process. Order tracking and planning are the first steps, followed by product development. After that, material is procured, which is used in the fourth step of manufacturing. Finally, the product is supported once it has been accepted by the market through logistics and customer acceptability. A total of seven phases are involved in the process, demonstrating speed, versatility, and quality. A chicken's life cycle is depicted in this procedure, from egg to adulthood. An egg is the beginning of a chicken's existence. A chick emerges from the egg after three weeks of incubation. After around three months of growth and development, the chick becomes an adult chicken. A new cycle begins when an adult chicken produces eggs for the first time. The life cycle of a chicken goes through several phases. Iterating and receiving feedback are all part of the innovation management process, as shown in this diagram. The initial step in this procedure is to have a knowledge of the target audience. Employees are then brought in to brainstorm ideas. They synthesize these concepts. Management may then use this information to create prototypes and testing. In the end, management iterates and receives feedback on what they've already accomplished. The process of managing innovation consists of several stages. From the 21st to the 27th of April, the precipitation totals in Haiti and the Western Dominican Republic were shown on a line graph in millimeter forward slash H. 
Until the 23rd of April, there has been no accumulation of rain. This rose throughout time, peaking on the 27th of April at 400 mm forward slash H for the maximum and an average of 100 mm forward slash H for the average. It was only on the 24th of April that the greatest total rainfall intensity reached at roughly 30 mm forward slash H. On the 25th of April or 26, the average total rainfall intensity peaked at roughly 5 mm forward slash H. As a whole, the amount of rain fell steadily rose. While the average rainfall total remained modest, the maximum rainfall intensity varied. The population of Sydney was 3,050,000 in the 1976 census, and the population is expected to reach a peak of 5.5 million by 2031. 4.128.570 people were counted in 2001. Approximately 5,300,000 people are expected to live in Sydney at the end of 2031, according to current population estimates. Everyone has a choice of flavor in ice creams. Above is the graph, which shows the favorite ice cream flavors people like. The least liked ice cream flavor is cookies and cream. The most liked ice cream is vanilla. Chocolate and strawberry got an average response compared to other two flavors. Overall, 12 people liked vanilla, 8 people liked chocolate, 5 people liked cookies and cream, 9 people liked strawberry, and 11 people liked other.
Viruses assault cells to make new viruses in this process. When a virus enters a cell, it initially adheres to it during the adsorption stage. Replication occurs next, during which time the virus continues to create new proteins and acids. These amino acids and proteins are put together to create new viruses in the assembly step. Finally, the cell lets go of these new viruses. As a whole, a virus goes through a number of phases to replicate itself within a cell, from adsorption through release. The bar graph, which is measured in tens of thousands, depicts the week's worth of daily vehicle production. As the week progresses, it appears that automobile production rises steadily, peaking at 13,400 cars on Wednesday and then fluctuating, with just 2,000 cars manufactured on Saturday and no cars made on Sunday. Overall, Wednesday is the day when the most automobiles are created, while Sunday is the only day when no cars are made.